I had one of the best gigs of my life. We're being the Sanicas! I just like fought them. Good morning from a comedy poster award winner. Oh, she went surprisingly well. Oh god, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I have a tough two days. We couldn't stop looking at that woman. And I have lost the script. I woke up feeling ill today. I've got nothing left. Please love me. Hi, hi, peace smell. I had the worst show of I think my life. Great. Announcement. The end is in sight. Okay, it is the penultimate Saturday of the Fringe. It is the second of a two-show day. Where are we at? We have had a number of lovely, amazing reviews. We are yet to have a broadsheet. That is what I am waiting and hoping for in the final week. There's word that there is possibly one. I had one of the best gigs of my life yesterday, followed by a less so good one that Karen Gillan may or may not have been at. I don't know, someone tagged me in a story saying they'd been sat next to her during the show. I didn't see her though, and then they deleted the story, so then I'm like, was it just a ginger? But we don't know, she does go to the fringe because her husband's in a sketch group. One of the amazing creators of the play that goes wrong though uh, did come see and he's just posted a lovely story about it. So that's nice. It wasn't as good as the show for, it was never gonna be. It was tough. I chose the wrong guy to do the audience interaction bit with and that really did actually affect it. But what can you do? That's life. And now I am off to go watch Sarah Hester Ross. Just seen her poster. Just over there. Because I've bumped into her at so many TikTok events now and said I've gone to see her show and I think today's her last one. So I was like, I have to do that, I have to go watch it. So I'm gonna go do that now. Sold out one extra show. Hopefully we can sell the one out today as well. And hopefully we get a broadsheet. Sarah Hester Ross. Oh, awesome. I'm sorry, what? I 100% thought this was a mannequin. We're feeling mixed emotions on this one because we just had our first good Saturday show. Original, modern, it's honestly for everyone. Oh my God, it was so good. She's so relatable. Like your best mate that you can just bitch about anything to. So good. Hilarious, unique, Abby, <laughs> very Abby. Oh, I'd recommend it to probably all of my friends. I mean, I send all the reels of Abby and everything to all my friends. She's been cracking me up for years. It went amazing, it went so good. But I've been feeling sick between the double shows. I just feel, I just have like cramps. I think it's because I'm dehydrated, but I'm feeling unwell. But then, yay, this show's already sold out. But then also, uh, I guess this is neither here nor there, but we've got to the bottom of the Karen Gillan mystery. She was in yesterday and I picked on her and she gave a fake name. Body parts spread around the city. No. <laughs> Touch the fucking stool. <laughs> what, what's your name? Polly? Natalie? Put the name down, that's powerful. <laughs> Not the funny part. <laughs> Body parts spread around the city. <laughs> it's another one for the lady, she can't hold it together. <laughs> so I think I realised I was like, um, I probably shouldn't be a role model. I got 10, I got 10 out of 10, uh, you got two. <laughs> You're still in for a chance. It's Carrie Gillen! It's like, she was, she was on it. But I had no idea it was Karen Gillan. I went right up to her, like she stood up, she like hit the stool. So I'm kind of annoyed she didn't come to like a good one. It was fine. It was just like... It was just so funny. I was just like... Yeah, sure. I did think, I had to ask her twice. I was like, that's not that. I don't want that. She was, she was a very beautiful redhead of a woman. Strong 
feminist. She raised me to believe that everyone had the right to equal opportunities and respect. This is the thing, though. This is the thing. Thank you, male feminist. Um, it's nice to have one in, isn't it? Ally. Um, like, for Christmas, my brother and my sister-in-law bought me. Um, so, so just my sister-in-law, but... Um, <laughs> Both names are on the card. She bought me. <laughs> she bought me bed sheets. Yes, thank you. Already a shit gift. <laughs> what? What? The what? What's the oh, shh. <laughs> you had your moment, sir. <laughs> I've always had quite a fear of sex, and I do blame Robert Patterson. Because <laughs> I grew up on the film Twilight, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I do now know that they have zero blood flow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how he's planning to achieve that deadly erection. Uh, it just makes me think that the entire franchise is actually just about a guy who lets a girl think he's a vampire. Sure. Because it sounds cooler than erectile dysfunction, right? <laughs> like, think about it, he never says it. She comes in, she's like... <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't anything good. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you are. Right. What happened to you, girl? What? Girl, he's drunk. Take him home, okay? I'm, uh, I'm aware, I'm aware. By the way, no, I'm not gonna ruin your fun. They brought their own wine. Okay. <laughs> If you do leave one by one, that would be great. We do have some bitching to do. <laughs> you two leave first. <laughs> we beat the Saturday class! <laughs> two! Two in a row! I didn't even know that was possible! I was like, okay, the first one went great, thank you, amazing, but like, obviously the second one is not going to be as good. And then it was better. I am, if I'm going to be my negative self, slightly like, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is there her. I mean, obviously the audience was there, and that is great. But can we get someone from a <laughs> Yeah, I want to show you guys that one, it's so great, you just... You just wish there was a record of it. Though I guess this is the record. I guess this is the record. Are they lovely? Am I slightly frustrated the famous people came yesterday? Yes, but hey, that's just how it goes, isn't it? That is literally just the way it is. It was great. It was so fun. It's such a good one. There was a drunk prick in the front row, but it was fine because he was annoying everyone, so I can say what I like and I won. Sashay Curse, defeated. One poor Saturday to get through, so let's not talk, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But the parents, the actual parents come tomorrow, and I'm a bit worried because the show is quite heavily about them, and it's, and it's, it's going to be very obvious they're in the room. I've told them to wear a hat, but I don't think that is enough. And then we're into the final week. Mad. Mad. But I'm just so pleased that went well. I can't believe I just did two shows in a row and they both went well on a Saturday. What a lovely time to be alive. I have had alcohol. <laughs> oh God. I could tell today as well that I just already got more used to that other stage and where to stand and where I could go for little bits and not be in the way of the projector. I will also be honest, Hannah. Um, we usually do this show in a kind of like thrust configuration. I did do a theatre degree, thank you. Um, <laughs> they can usually see the board. So if you could do a favour, just if you do make a mark, if you could just hold it up a little bit so they can see that that has happened. <laughs> and I was just like using the stage more. Whereas yesterday I was like, it's a smaller stage, I can't move. So I think that helped. And also the crowd were just like, just so much more up for it. I think people don't realize how much you have to come in wanting a good time. There's only so much convincing we can do. So yeah, I think uh, that's why this evening went better. We're so close. Wow. <laughs> My favourite show, you may have noticed when I walked in, was America's Next Top Model. Yeah? Oh, some people have really livened up. <laughs> Any other fans of America's Next Top Model? 
Okay, liars, right? There was, there was 24 seasons, it was popular. Anyone, come on, no? Yeah? Yeah, what kind of episode, uh, which episode they do every season would you most look forward to? Thank you. <laughs> did you see, did you see? Women immediately bonded, right? This is our World Cup, okay? I didn't get taught anything I'd actually have genuinely appreciated knowing. Like, blowjobs. <laughs> what are you writing down? <laughs> What's happening here? You're just making notes for later. <laughs> oh, what's she gonna say? Is it a tip? <laughs> Oh my god, that one, I walked out, and I think of all shows so far, apart from maybe that one other one, which was quite similar, I was immediately hit with like, this audience is not on board. <laughs> like, even just doing the announcement of like, are you ready for a show? It was like, woo. And then I go out and I'm like, any bad people? And it's like, mm. And I was like, oh, fuck, this is gonna be a tough one. But I just like fought them. <laughs> I just like, I'm like, proud. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really proud of myself because I was like, no, I'm going to fight for this. And I think it was because it's like last week. And then I spotted a popular girl from my school. <laughs> I mean, like a nice one. She wasn't a bully or anything, but like just immediate, like must impress. <laughs> I, I brought it back. By the end, it was like such a fun show. And like, now I know I can do that. Like, that was just great. That was a really nice feeling to like bring it back. If you keep going with that energy, like they will eventually join you. Also, I got it wrong. My parents arrived today, but they're seeing tomorrow's show. So I'm gonna go meet them now. I spot them! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello! This is mum practicing her disguise for tomorrow. <laughs> I think this brings more attention to you. Hello. Hi, Abby. Hello. Hi, Abby. You want to do a quick sound check? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Woo! I'm Abby. I, I just talk into microphones. I don't do anything fancy. And then I'll be like, I'm an Abby Clark. Thank you. Great. Lovely. That sounds great. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Is there going to be like um, music that I walk onto or? Um, no, just applause. applause. <laughs> Hopefully. A lot of applause. A lot of applause. Okay, cool. I've left my parents having coffee in the courtyard and I'm doing Mervyn Stutter's Pick of the Fringe today. Um, it's kind of quite prestigious in Edinburgh. He's been doing it for years. It's like a variety showcase of stuff on at the Fringe. They came to my show on Thursday last week, I think, and really kindly gave me a four star review and asked me to come perform at it. Uh, everyone's a little bit worried though, because it is a almost entirely baby boomer audience, which isn't my go-to target demographic, but I think I have enough material. I do material about my parents purposely for that reason, to kind of give the older perspective. So hopefully it'll be fine. I've only got to do five minutes. And then I have to do an interview straight after on stage with Mervyn, where we just like talk about the show, hopefully sell some tickets. So let's hope it goes well, because I'm also not allowed to run away straight after. I've learned from last time that I'm not going to be trying any audience participation. That actually went surprisingly well. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I love the black cat. They're eco friendly, high quality. Well. Oh my god, I didn't have time to go home. My parents went to go watch a show of a friend and I was just knackered. I was like fully just yawning all over the place. I went and did a just a little like wild nap in the uh, artist's bar and I feel so much better. So we're off to the show now. Just because I've so heavily featured the 
watching the show, I was like, I don't want them to just stand at the queue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, wait, have you seen you before? You've already made that joke. You're like, you're there. For everybody, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he has a fresh audience. There's two people who've heard it, three who haven't. <laughs> so, thank you. Some people would feel embarrassed about repeating things, but you know, I'm glad you are about that. <laughs> I, was, I lost you there, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I've lost her completely. <laughs> we'll know it's a good joke when it wakes her up, okay? We'll be like, that one raises the dead! Okay! <laughs> oh god, please don't be dead! Please don't be dead! <laughs> Okay. Nice character. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was I even talking about? Semen. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about when you fell asleep? My parents. <laughs> <laughs> there is a segue, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I am on the pill, by the way. <laughs> if you're worried. <laughs> I mean, when I remember, but. <laughs> I did actually forget it today. <laughs> Kieran, write that down. <laughs> Run. No, it's totally fine. What's your name? Kath. Kath, put her down. <laughs> but it's totally fine. It's the, it's oh, the okay. Oh. <laughs> That's what she wanted, right? Run! <laughs> therapy and gym after this. <laughs> I'm gonna think about that all night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her back in. <laughs> I can't look her in the eye again. <laughs> Our boobs touched, okay. <laughs> Well done, you. Wee. Great show. Well, I guess I've worked out how to deal with people falling asleep on walkouts. <laughs> Growth. It is a tally of bad form. <laughs> okay, that usually gets around my applause. That's good. <laughs> It's fine, I lied, it never gets a clap, but thank you. <laughs> and are you good people? I don't Christian. Uh. <laughs> good person with bad thoughts. Good person with bad thoughts? I think that's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking chaos, you don't know how to tally. <laughs> Just as I was on a streak, that was a tough one. Like people were enjoying it, but there was two people in the front row. There was a man in the middle who would not even look at me. It was actually scary. To the point that my tech were like, would you like us to go outside with you? 
<laughs> but uh, I'm done now, I'm locked out over. Uh, I don't dance with my parents anymore. I'm sorry if you came hoping to see them. Um, I mean, you've only looked up when they came on screen, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's giving sinister stir, I just have to be honest. Okay. I kind of got used to him, and I was. He, he'd still like. I think he was just enjoying it in his own way. And there was a woman in the front row, and every single person that came to say hi to me after and buy merch was like, we couldn't stop looking at that woman. Like, why was she so miserable? They were like, how do you not get in your head with that? And I was like, I do. I was so in my head during that show, but I'm glad you couldn't notice. Like, usually it's just me noticing the one person hating it, but like, she was hating it so much that the entire audience came up to me and was like, what was with that woman? Why was she so miserable? And why was she on the front row? <laughs> but she was next to two women loving it, so she was wrong. No, I don't know, that was, it was really off-putting. It was really, I just like couldn't help but look at her and be like, she hates me. And therefore the entire audience hates me. And I think I recognized her. Probably shouldn't put this in the vlog. Let's just say she works for a channel and I don't think I'll be being employed. So I was also there just the time to time being like, the industry hates me, the industry hates me, please love me. Hi, hi, please smile, love me, please. But she just wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, also an update from yesterday's show though is Patricia, the sleeping woman. Turns out she did give a real name. I was like, she 100% gave a fake name, but that's fine. It was her real name. She's messaged on Instagram being like, love the show. <laughs> so actually, I just really can't take people's faces at face value. What? But yeah, me, me, me and Trisha tie now. Anyway, my poster has been nominated for both the panel and audience choice award for like best poster. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make it, but it was my idea and my face. So I think I'm gonna go to the awards. I hate industry events, I'm so bad at them. But I should go. And you know, I'm doing my sad sit in the corridor. Why can't they all be fun? I'm just annoyed that I got put off. Like I could just feel my rhythm was off. I was like rushing some bits and then being like, fuck, slow down. And then it's just like, woo, woo, woo. It just wasn't like, Ugh, wasn't what it what it could be. I'm gonna stop sulking now. Well, no, not right now, but like I'll stop recording the sulk now, and then I'll stop sulking when I want. But like I'll stop, I'll stop filming it now. Okay, bye. I also totally forgot to do the setup for a callback. I think I'm done now. I promise I'm done. So the comedy poster awards with the British comedy guys started in 2014. Uh, and it's run by the amazing Gina Lyons. Can we have a round of applause please for Gina Lyons? <laughs> Chop! Award for the poster so thank you everyone anyone who voted for that uh, that was all you guys oh god how does one make this not horrifying <laughs> well that's the screenshot it's 2am I have just finished a load of editing and I think we're back to the Netflix sleep story mindfulness thing it's going to be difficult to sleep tonight at the end of this quiet seaside. Good morning from a comedy poster award winner. It's me. Yeah, that's true. I, <laughs> I'm doing another one of those script reads today and I have lost the script. I don't feel like that's important, right? At a script read. Yeah, so that's a problem. And then after though, I've booked myself a massage on my old class pass points because I haven't been to the gym so I was like let's use them let's use them on something big I'm gonna go do that I'm absolutely gutted I come out of the table read and my massage has been cancelled so then go back on class pass I'm like fine no 
we will not let this stop us today. We are getting that massage. Book another one with somewhere way more expensive. I walk, I walk the whole way. Book the 20 minute walk with my massage bag to get the massage. They cancel as well. Uh, I'm sad. But I turned up to the table read and again, right before they were like, do you mind if we change your character? And they were like, can you play like six? Just like all the like small parts. And that was actually really fun because it just meant I got to do like loads of different really stupid characters. And then at the end, the producer came up to me and was like, I'll email you, I want to watch your show. So that, that was nice. That felt really worth it. I bought myself a cake instead of a massage. Same thing, right? <laughs> Vlog inception. So you may have noticed I have not been wearing my merch cap for a few days now. And that is because I've lost it. I think I may have sold it. I think I've sold some on my used cap. Did anyone buy a cap without a label and with foundation stains? Okay, no. Don't know if they were stains. Marks. <laughs> you may have bought my cap. I'm so sorry. Added feature. Are you a good person? Yeah. Yes? Whoa, confident, yes! <laughs> what, makes you, what makes you so confident you're a good person? I work for a volunteer organisation that supports refugees, and people. Are you paid? <laughs> well, there we go, she doesn't volunteer, does she? Okay. <laughs> Dressing, not over it. <laughs> okay, the amount of people who messaged me on Instagram telling me that Primark are now doing groovy chick bath bags. <laughs> I had to come find it. I mean, I woke up feeling ill today. But that's sort of recovered now, but I just genuinely just zero energy, zero at all. Yeah. I did go to the Chihuahua Cafe though. Oh, for goodness sake. Dog. I had enough energy for that. It was incredible. It's a new t-shirt. <laughs> my friend Freya saw on my vlogs that I only had one t-shirt and I was happy to wash it. She found me a new groovy chick t-shirt and it's the nicest thing to order that I've ever done for me. Am I a little bit worried it's gonna jinx it wearing a new t-shirt? Yes. Am I at the point where I don't care, would just do anything for something to be different? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I know. It's not likable. Not likable way. Okay. Whoa, 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 <laughs> what did I say? Look, I am, I'm aware it's not likable. Okay, what do you do, Richard? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your job, Richard? I'm a photographer. You're a f off, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> My biggest career achievement is for dancing with my parents. <laughs> no, that says more about you than me, I think. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you came hoping to see them. Uh, I couldn't afford them. They're, not. <laughs> They're doing the grand. Um, <laughs> you what? <laughs> you need a I need a, oh, fine. <laughs> She's got involved, what's your name? Dora. Dora, okay, but put Dora down as well, because she interrupted and that's bad form. <laughs> Okay, oh, Dora, you're not gonna like this bit, but we're gonna do it anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I said you weren't gonna like it. Oh, right! Okay, Dora, okay! <laughs> <That's probably> <laughs> <laughs> it was tense there, it was tense there, we got through it. <laughs> I'm also selling merch. If, you, if you'd want it, uh, no caps that say role model, but the rules crossed out just says model. 
<laughs> and also, if uh, you do have a toxic best friend, I've made a toxic best friend tote bag that you can passive aggressively buy them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please do leave one by one. We do have some bitching to do. Um, <laughs> Dora, you leave first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but on your way out, my parents have sent me a few fit pictures just for you to enjoy. I'm going to have a clock. Thank you very much. Bye. Two more shows. I'm counting down now. I've just, I've just secured a gift for myself. How cute is that cat? I've got one for my housemate and I've also secured all thank you gifts for tech producers. That sort of thing. And I'm going to rush home, write the cards and head in to do the show. I've got nothing left. Yeah, yesterday's show was better. All the jokes went really well. The audience was great fun. It felt like a great show. The only thing for me that I know is just the tally just hasn't worked this week. After a month of like being one of the best features of the show, people just haven't got it this week, haven't got on board. It's kind of been irrelevant to the show. There was a show where I had to swap it three times to another person because they weren't doing it right. One show, this girl wouldn't hold it up for the audience, which meant it just became her own private thing and she started giving her friends points but not letting anyone know that that was happening or why they were getting points so I had to take it off her. Another woman gave me three tallies for bad form just because I mentioned wasps. When people say save the arts they mean anyone but us. We're very much the wasps of the save the bee campaign. <laughs> Similar but just like loud, overly arrogant, giving all the work of bees body dysmorphia with their tiny waists. <laughs> There's a point already gone down. Three points! Where did I get three points? I'm sorry, is it what for? Talking about wasps! <laughs> what? No, right, you lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you have any phobias? Are you going to be triggered by anything like wasps, spiders, snakes, sharks? Sharks do come up. <laughs> sharks do come up. Okay, what's your name? Niall. Niall. Are you a good person, Niall? No. Thank God, right. <laughs> so that was strange. Yeah, sometimes people just kind of try too hard to be funny and it makes it not make sense. They don't just do the job or they don't take the job seriously enough that like we have the comedy from me arguing with them or them keeping me or, like keep me in check yeah that just hasn't worked this week which i guess is a shame because i know even when the show goes well i know there's this extra bit to it that they're missing but let's just hope last two we pick a good tally person and uh they kind of understand the job because you kind of need them to take it seriously basically you need them to take it seriously enough that it's actually then very funny when it causes me chaos rather than them just going off and doing their own thing and not involving the rest of the audience because then then it just becomes about them rather than the room so oh yeah yesterday this guy made a joke about his friend next to him being diabetic and gave him a point but it wasn't clear why that had gained a point and it just made everyone uncomfortable because he was making jokes about his friend being diabetic <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you guys, if you go to a comedy show, just let, let the comedian do the planned jokes. Yeah. Don't worry, don't, you don't have to bring your own. Anyone over here a particular fan of a board game at all? Yeah? Yeah? You to you what? You're a total loser! <laughs> Welcome! Okay. <laughs> well, what's your name, total loser? <laughs> Jules. Jules. Okay, Jules, would you mind keeping tally for me? I, I love that. I have to be honest with you, Jules. I've had a f***ing week. Okay. <laughs> do you know how to tally? Yes. yes. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> and if you could just hold the board and um, just facing the audience, you know, just really shame me whenever something happens. Okay, I will only learn from shame. A pointless situation. Here we yeah. go. These I'm are the fucking bros. <laughs> You're a TV quiz writer. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, Jules, we're gonna work on a format today. Okay, I think this could be something. Also, just before, um, who are the latecomers? Lottie. Jemima, Mary, Kelly. Okay, I'm not gonna remember, but let's put them down because they're late and that's bad form. <laughs> so they're our first point. This is lit, this is good. Okay, I think that might be the first one, okay. <laughs> Jules is saying it's okay. <laughs> Jules said it was fine. <laughs> I don't think this side is as sure. <laughs> 
Lottie, Lottie didn't like it. <laughs> this is really turning. <laughs> this might, this might actually be bullying. Okay. <laughs> Watching you, Lottie. Watch it. Better enjoy it from now on. Okay. <laughs> We're filming you. You will be cancelled. Okay. No. I am quite worried that whoever I end up with, right, might give me. Ugly kids. Okay. <laughs> I just don't do group work. Okay, I don't. I don't do group work. I work on that for nine months and then he f***s it up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's a pregnant woman from road. Tell me you don't relate. <laughs> Are you not what? Is, is that the partner now? Is he what? <laughs> He's like, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> so what if he gets your taste in gilets? <laughs> Is, is he part of your group? Come back. Tell me, um, like, a fact about Brandon that you'd only know if you know him. Oh. He loves a gin. What a man. <laughs> wow. That's the most interesting fact about him. Gin, am I right? He's got a very attractive accent. He's from North Carolina. He's from North Carolina? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's his accent sound like? Do you impressions? Very like, Southern American. Yeah, he's like... Hey Kylie, how are you? Hey, hey Kylie, how are you? <laughs> okay, we'll work it in, we'll work it in. <laughs> I have no idea what North Carolina sounds like. But... I'm from Fife, but it's really hard to do accents. <laughs> I don't think that's a Fife issue. <laughs> I think that's just your ability in accents, for sure. <laughs> You're right, no one from Fife has ever been an actor. Okay. <laughs> Diggory Scott. What? Diggory Scott. Diggory Scott, yeah, right. exactly. You went to the same college as me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not who Diggory Sorry. Scott is. It sounds like she made it up. <laughs> sounds like a postman pack character. <laughs> oh, it's Diggory Scott. Okay. He's in Mission Impossible. He's in Mission Impossible. Oh, so he does an American accent, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, one more day, one more day of French. <laughs> one more show. <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking about. Oh, my eight kids. <laughs> are you at all worried? Or are you gonna... He went bald when he was 20. He went bald when he was 20, oh no! Oh no! Yay, that one was super fun. And mad as well, it was another mental one, but I love the mental ones, they're so unique. The tally person still only gave me three tallies when I'm aiming for 10 or above. So I couldn't actually, I just didn't do the final reveal, but luckily they were a good enough crowd that that didn't matter. And she was just super fun in her own way. So it made the tally still worth it and funny and like part of the show. So it was better. It wasn't perfect, but it was so much better. What more left? What more left? <laughs> Final visit to the pastry section. Look at that. We got raspberry, we got mousse, we got cake. There's a heaven. That is, that's actually, I think, my dream. Famous. Famous? Favorite? Ideal. <sighs> I have no words. It's the final day! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not excited to go home. I'm also excited for the actual last show because I think it's going to be bad. She's going to be like, ah! You know, Jack's back. Jack wasn't here for two, for three shows in total, but we had a little break between he came back and then he went away again. So it's just been me and Storm on tech. Well, I didn't do the tech, you know what I mean. I bought him a present for being such a good tech. And also my friend, we must reward someone who takes on such a difficult job. I got him a Legally Blonde Pop. Pop, are they called Pops? Yeah, no, Funko Pop because of our tradition. I also got him a Storm card and Storm some chocolates. My best friend from like my whole life. Like I met her in year one. She is coming to the show today. I was like, why did you book on the last night? I'm going to be delirious. And she was like, that's why. But that'll be really fun. She'll be there. Like, yeah. There is a massive gap in this vlog. I'm not sure how it's going to all come together because I just didn't film for like two days. I had a tough two days. And I just didn't feel like it, okay? I just, I couldn't, couldn't really face it. It was tough. I had the worst show of, I think, my life. Genuine silence, just silence. That was horrifying. I really don't know what happened there. I came off stage and I was tired. And also I got horrible news via an email, the like moments before walking on stage that day. And it also was just feeling a little genuinely disappointed that I didn't 
hit all of my aims, dreams, I don't know, <laughs> for this month. We did get four stars in the Scotsman though. I was really happy the day they came. I was like, oh my God, sick. So that is technically the broadsheet. We, we, we managed that. But yeah, Wednesday was worst day of the fringe. And I was just like, I'm not even gonna vlog this. I couldn't even face selling merch. I didn't even say I had merch. I didn't go out after. It was, that was a bad day. <laughs> and you know, teary-eyed on a vlog is different to sobbing on a vlog. And we're just, we're just not there guys, I'm sorry. And then Thursday was just kind of like recovery. And then Friday was the day we have all been waiting for. I went to my favorite place on earth, possibly. Definitely in Edinburgh. I went to the Chihuahua Cafe. <laughs> I love that place. If you have followed me in any of the other vlogs or my podcast, may it rest in peace, you will know my passion for the Edinburgh Chihuahua Cafe. One of the dogs actually played Bruiser in a production of Blue Blonde. It's, it's all coming together. And yeah, ever since then, it's all been looking up. Yesterday was a good show. And now the end is in sight. And today I have done a self-tape, a video audition, if you don't know what a self-tape is. Okay, well my accent went in company. Fuck Shakespeare. Fuck. Fuck. I fucked it. Parry. Fuck. Be prompt. Fuck it. Fuck it. You are overdue fucking balls. <laughs> it wasn't good. It's so another funnest way to, to spend the last day, but you know, good to get one. To hope for the future, you know. Career and shit. So yeah, I did that. And now I'm gonna pack so that I can leave like as early as possible tomorrow. And I'll be going for drinks with my friend Lauren. Later. We've nearly done it, guys. We've nearly done it. People of the Pleasures Benita, you ready for the final show? Please welcome to the stage, it's Abby Clark! Yes, 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 yes! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> up my Edinburgh journey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Would you mind keeping tally for me? What's your name? Damien. Damien. Okay. I wasn't sure if thumbs up was all you did. Okay, you, know, you do like, talk. I, I was doing a subverted one. Uh... A subverted? Oh, right. You saw me on the one show. That's brilliant. <laughs> 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 okay, now I have to tell everybody, um, I was on the one show to advertise this show. Um, I'm not used to being on live television, I just looked directly down the camera at the lens and went... <laughs> and apparently that's going to follow me forever, so that's brilliant! Whoa, okay. <laughs> that's on me, Damien, I didn't explain what a tally was. <laughs> It, it's just a so tally. Do you know how to tally? Yeah, nice. No, okay, no, I don't want Jack's point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the four and the five. I think I should be allowed like ten. That's like a whole number. Yeah, okay, thank you. Cool. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my god! <laughs> up to ten, Damien, up to ten! <laughs> thank you, Lauren. <laughs> I've got a plant. Because <laughs> I know skin in the game, you know? I've got school tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, I'll be selling merch in the courtyard just out there. I'm mean, Abby Clark, thank you, bye. Well, it was an underwhelming one to end on, but the crowd did still enjoy it in their own way. It was like a huge applause at the end. Like I got applause breaks, but the laughs were just a bit like, meh. <laughs>
<laughs> so I think they were just really enjoying it. I think they just weren't like very vocal or energetic. So hey, I still sold merch and everything, which is always like a measure of if the show's gone well. <laughs> I just got it done. <laughs> Freedom! Gotta work out what to do with this stool now though and whiteboard. Cause I can't bring myself to just throw it away. Cause I'm gonna like tour the show. Announcement, I am gonna tour it. I don't have these like details, but it will be touring. So I don't wanna buy another stool, but also I will have to drive that back and it will be living at my parents' house, which I don't think they're going to be best pleased about. <laughs> also kind of want to steal a massive poster. Cause I technically pay for them. Initiate, spy music. <laughs> jewelry and show outfit Bye. all packed uh, yeah tea bay oh my god this looks so good eleven and a half hours later <laughs> i am back in bristol i mean not even technically home still have to unpack remove into london but for now we are at the parents we're gonna stay here for like a week decompress chill i'm working tomorrow morning in london but i'm trying i'm doing the train coming back chilling there is a bit of work to do but like mostly chilling honestly I'm gonna spend the week binging Emily in Paris and that is my plan. I'm so excited to have a sofa. I haven't had a sofa in a month. But yeah, I don't feel like I can reflect on the month I've had yet. But for now, thank you so much for joining me on the past like month and a bit of my life. A very big month and a bit of my life. We'll see what happens. We'll see where it leads us next. But for now, God cringe, but I've been Abby Clark. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Welcome back to Bristol. Oh my god, I need to clean the camera. <laughs> Hi. Hi.